It's not a very pleasant part of life, but unfortunately it happens. And sometimes it happens in a dramatic way. I mean, it's really, I mean, things when things mess up, they really mess up and you feel that uh, all doors, not just doors, even windows are closed. And when you look and there's nothing but a dark tunnel with not even, not, n not just no light, not even a candle light. Fact of life, it happens. Now, let's think about this. Has it happened before? Yes. Is it happening now? Yes. Will it happen in the future? Yes. Will it always stay like this? No. Life and history and humanity and people have passed through much darker situations, but in the end it finished. I mean, World War One, World War Two. There are many other wars, states of, you know, depression, horrible family problems, disastrous financial, financial losses, everything up into flames. It happens. Uh, terminal diseases. It happens. There will be some times where you feel everything underneath your feet is shaking and it's just it's not just a small earthquake it's like 9 over 10 earthquake sometimes and it won't even stop just one hit after the others luckily it doesn't happen many times in life but it happens and it will happen some people say every five to seven years sometimes less than 10 years People usually experience a situation like that, whether it's family, health, business, career, you know, surrounding conditions, wars, economy, you name it. You don't let whatever is around you to break you from within. Because once you've allowed that, then you're done. Then all the components and the elements of you finding a solution, getting out of this continuity, sustainability, hope disappears. So absolutely no compromise on letting the external mess become internal. Now, you will be anxious, some anxiety, some sleepless nights. Yes, these things will happen. You will get angry, upset, burst of anger sometimes, depression, sadness. Okay, it happens we're human being but that should not be your the nature of your new state of being those should be emotions that you experience as you go through this difficult time your net your your default state of being should be internal calmness should be hope should be keeping things in perspective and all the other components that would help you come out of this because you know for fact that nothing stays as it is good times don't stay but also bad times then don't stay so maybe you have to use time until you get out of this so you make sure that physiologically your body your mind your your, 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 your heart, your emotions, your spirit, your soul, all your components, the way you define yourself, it's up to you. You remain healthy, maybe not in perfect shape, but as healthy as possible. Why? So that you have at least the minimum that it takes to get out of this mess. Second, patience. Patience, 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 patience. And what does patience mean? means a realistic and wise use of time. You're realistic in the way you approach time. So something that might take one hour, you don't expect it to be done in five minutes because that would not be realistic. So you have to know how to use time on, in your favor so that you remain realistic. You're dealing with reality because once you go into illusions, it's done. All your decisions are uh, deadly or at least harmful, most of them. What else do you do? 
you use your creative ability to come up with options and if there's any species on this planet that has this ability is, is the human species dinosaurs did disappeared because they did not have enough creative ability to adapt to their changing environment well we are different so you use your creative ability intellectual ability resourcefulness so that you create options there might not be ideal options there might not be many options but you create options while you're resilient from inside while you're hopeful what else do you do you keep encouraging yourself every single morning you have to be your own best therapist your own best advisor your own best coach your own best mother and father in the sense that they give you encouragement so every morning when you wake up and it's dark around you you do your own self-talk you talk to yourself you pick yourself up you pick your soul your spirit your emotions and your 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 mental your your state of um, mental state of being i.e. the way you look at life your attitude you pick it up you encourage yourself and it could be done what else could be done you look around you and become realistic by making sure that not everything is black so you find spaces where there is light so if you're still healthy you say I'm healthy so let me let me at least take care of that if you have your family around you you take care of that so what I'm saying there's no situation that's absolutely pitch dark I don't think that exists there must be some pockets of light there must be and just like you're in a dark room and there's a very small ray of light and you want to read what do you do you go and you take your book and you go and sit under that ray of light and read you function from there you don't function from where darkness is you function from there is a, wherever there is the ray of light so you stay next to that thing and you remind yourself of whatever is still good in your life because you need to make sure that you don't create an unrealistic disaster fiasco in your mind I'm sure there's a problem just make sure that it is within perspective otherwise you paralyze yourself what else do you do you use everything you have networks friends whatever you name it any resource you have you use it to create options to get out of that mess out of that darkness wherever it is don't leave any stone that's not turned you look into every possibility you exhaust that to the last drop what else can you do if there's nothing else to do you've really tried everything of course giving up is not an option because that's suicide what do you do you wait and you use time and while waiting you do something useful you do something useful you read you learn you invest in yourself you're stuck at home you can't go out what do you have books read you have internet learn some new skill become part of some learning environment Le acquire knowledge develop your talent I don't know mm. take care of your plant draw whatever it is point is that you use time in a smart way so while you're waiting for the situation to mature for things to clear up when everything else has been tried you use that time not to fall into despair and depression you use that time to invest in yourself you teach yourself new virtues like patience you help other people you inspire other people you help the faint-hearted you find an opportunity in your society where you can do something and be useful. Am I conducting myself in a way that I'm encouraging people, giving them hope, manifesting a behavior or an attitude that they should mimic, or I'm sending the wrong message by sending them more towards depression and despair? because I'm sure people around you are watching you 
and maybe not all of them but some of them care and some of them you represent something to them your siblings parents children friends so it's not just about you you have to conduct yourself in a way that would provide a lesson or an example for others around you to do the same because if you're sending the wrong message and they start acting like you are if you're surrendering and falling into despair then you, you have just multiplied your problem because not only you're suffering you're watching people around you whom you love suffer as well do you want to do that? when everything is hard it's not the time to be weak it is the time to be the strongest person that you can become it's a matter of duty and don't worry about resources and resourcefulness and strength you will find spares and reserves of courage within you that you didn't even know they existed because that's how you have been designed life designed you this way to contend with life to fight, to struggle and to win at least if winning is not guaranteed but to fight the best honorable battle and most of the time you win because of the genius of what it means to be a human being so is there a solution when there's no solution? Yes, there is a solution. And in fact, that's what leadership is about, is giving hope in a state of hopelessness. A great man taught me this. And that's what self-leadership is about, giving yourself hope and encouragement when the voices in your head are whispering, it's hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. You silence these voices and you listen to the good ones. And with time, you will overcome. You are designed to overcome. So don't worry. It should be fine.